Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn a new topic and try to see how you answer this specific question. In the previous video, I have spoken around list of data table, the concept behind list of data tables. So this question is framed on that. If you have a list of data table, how will you filter a specific value? Let me read it for you. What link query can be used to filter a list of data tables based on specific column value in C sharp. And here are a couple of options given. Now, how do you identify which one? First of all, when you see this, rest of the things are as it is. Only difference is in terms of the method, group by, where, select and order by. So it is very important to revisit the methods once again and understand which should be the right option out of this four which one should be the right option we need to identify so i'm going to move on to my slides and let's see the very first option here my data tables dot group by and then dt this, this is the lambda function dt is the variable so data table dot as innumerable dot all row column name dot two string equals to equals to value now let me you know help you to recall the group by remember in a group by use a lambda function that's right however you are grouped by a column the group by usage is you are grouping a column right so your input is supposed to be a column you don't pass a specific value to group by you say this column you group it this column you right you provide a column name as the input you can't provide a value so that's why this is a wrong answer okay let's see our second option the second option they have given order by now order by again you pass a column name ascending order descending order which column would you like to do ascending descending so you always pass a column name as an input you don't pass a value so that is why this option is also wrong let's see our third option the third one is select remember the select is used to project or transform. Remember this word to transform a column, column into column, x into x, all that we have seen. So again, there you don't apply a filter equals to equals to value. You simply say, I want to transform this particular co column into something else. You want to multiply by two, multiply by the same number. So all those things can be done with dot select, right? To transform or project, but not to filter. So after finding the three wrong ones, you know which is the right one. So dot where, this is where you will be filtering and passing a value. So this is the right answer. So in this question, you will be selecting dot where as your right answer. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.